to the men and women of the Toronto Police Department. We are on the same team. Just like many of you here, we too have families to support. And it certainly hasn't been easy for anyone. The mental state of our children is beyond horrific. Suicides and drug overdoses have well surpassed COVID-19 deaths. And of course, this is something the media conveniently tucks under the rug. But you know what's funny? That same media goes out of the way to cover stories like defund the police. Or just about anything else that Just the same as we are. The only difference is that we will fall first. But I can assure you that people who play the swims will come for you next. Don't believe me? And domestic terrorism, section 83.01 bracket, bracket one bracket B, and the essential services were disrupted in your family. Yeah. For what it sounds like, it won't just be the mask you'll have to worry about, but rather a rushed out the door vaccine that you'll soon be forced to take as part of your job requirement. Having said that, we've talked to enough officers to know that more than half of you want nothing to do with a multiple dose vaccine program, especially after looking into the toxic ingredients. In fact, it's not even a vaccine. It's a synthetic pathogen that induces illness. Nothing about it will stop you from transmitting anything. But without getting into the details, this is not about masks or vaccines. This is about your medical freedom and your personal rights soon to be violated. Your right to choose. Just remember, any rights taken away from us are the same rights taken away from you. The system you work for is setting you up in the same manner as the rest of us. I can assure you that what's happening today is not random. This day and many days ahead has been planned for quite some time. Everyone has the, the right to come to his defense. Undoubtedly, Under Section 34, the Canadian criminal code. Anyone got children in the